All right, we're going to talk about similar triangles. Similar triangles are um, when you have something like 5 over here, right? You have a 5, and then over here you have a 10. Similar triangles means that all three sides will have the same ratio. The way you figure out a ratio is you put 5 over 10, and you reduce it. And you divide both sides by 5 divide this side by 5 and so you have 1 over 2 that is the space that's what is known as something called the scale factor the scale factor you have to know what's, what a scale factor is to be able to work with similar triangles so let's say that this side was 8 all right we know that the scale factor is 1 to 2 so the way to find the other side is you go 1 over 2 equals this and this is the smaller side because we know 5 is 5 was the smaller side over here so we know that 8 is also going to be the smaller side so we put that on top and we put it over x and then you just cross multiply you cross multiply here one and uh, the 1 and the x that becomes 1x equals 16 the 2 times and then this is the other part of the cross multiplication and so basically x equals 16 so this side over here is going to be 16. And if you notice, the ratio basically in this one is, fer is fairly simple. You just multiply this one over here, like the 5 by 2 to get 10, or the 8 by 2 to get 16. So if this third side over here was, let's say, 12, we have to multiply it by 2, because we know the scale factor is 1 to 2, and this side would just simply be 24. And so if all three of these sides are the same, I mean, if all three of these sides have the same ratio, the same scale factor, scale factor, then the, the, then the triangle is going to be similar. All right? Let's look at another example. Um, let's get a new blank sheet. Let me clear this one. Let's say, for instance, you had um, three over here and eight over here. Now it's not so simple. Let's say this is x and this one is y and this one is um, 10. This time we have a little triangle. We have a little triangle and a big triangle. So let's underline the, the little triangle 3 and x, right? So we're going to do we'll do we'll put x on top because that's easy. x over 3. All right? And then over here we have 8 and 10. We know that when we're looking at corresponding sides, we know that the x corresponds to the 10 because they are both on the bottom in this case. And so the, the 10 is going to go on top because the x went on top, and then the 8 is going to go on the bottom. And then you just simply cross multiply. So you have 8x because you can cross multiply here. And then you cross multiply here. So, and 10 and 3 equals 30. Divide both sides by 8. Divide both sides by 8. x equals 30 over 8, which would equal 15 over 4. And I'm just going to leave the answer like that. And that is how you, that's how you can solve for similar triangles. And then sometimes, after, let me clear this one more time, sometimes they'll give you sides. They'll, maybe they'll say this side's 5, this side's 15, this side's 6, this side's 18 and this side is, I don't know, 7, and this side is 22. And they'll say, they'll ask you, are the triangles similar? And you just have to compare all the sides. So you, have, you do 5 over 15, and that equals 1 over 3. And then we know that 6 over 18 also equals 1 over 3, because 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 18 divided by 6 is 3. And then the last one we have to try is 7 over 22. Does 7 over 22 reduce to 1 over 3? No, it does not. So this one does not work, so the triangles are not, we'd have to say no, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, because we're very serious about this. They are not similar all right they are not similar no 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 they are not similar and so that's how you can figure out if triangles are similar or not i can do a f 